Hi, Randy Lennon back with another edition of Meridian Business Television, where business owners access capital. Today, we've got an email in from Anne Marie, who lives in uh, Laguna Beach, California. Anne Marie has uh, recently sold her business and uh, has made a decision that her next business she wants to get into is in the whole field of green energy, alternative energy. So joining me today is Keith Turner from Meridian Merchant Capital. And Keith, you have some experience going way back in the whole area of uh, alternative energy. With what's going on in the world today and the excitement about uh, alternative energy, are there also different financing op opportunities? Is this, a, is this something that uh, Meridian can help with? Well, this is a bit like the second wave of the internet, actually. Um, the comparison could be made. Uh, a lot of alternative energy projects, particularly in the United States, were sponsored by some regulation which was passed during the Carter administration that was, was destined to reduce foreign dependence, oh sorry, to reduce dependence on foreign oil. Right. And so what it did was it favored independent developers coming with what were then renewable energy sources, basically burning waste materials and generating electricity. And the environment then was a little more hostile because basically it forced a lot of utilities to take that energy that was generated from those projects at a preferred rate. So the developers got quite wealthy, whereas the utilities were somewhat hostile towards them and would often kill the contracts if they could if you failed to meet deadlines. Well, guess what? Round two is very different. Everybody wants this now. Everybody wants to help the environment. The utilities understand the necessity uh, to evolve and to embrace a wide range of energy sources. So yes, there's money out there for that. And yes, there are often contracts issued by government agencies or utilities uh, throughout North America, in the US and in Canada, that are going to encourage developers, much like real estate developers as a project, to go and buy that ground and go and put on a wind farm or a solar farm, or go and buy those used tires and have them burn to generate electricity, or in some cases, electricity and steam, which they call cogeneration. Mm -hmm. So yes, I've actually been involved in this for about 20 years, and we do have some people in Meridian that have a, have a specific project finance leaning, and you know, an ability to access just the, not just the capital, but some of the projects themselves. Now, this seems like a huge entrepreneurial opportunity. So someone that's got some experience, maybe they have a business or like Anne Marie, obviously she's sold out of some kind of business, wants to get into a hot space. Uh, this is very capital intensive type of business though. It can be. Um, again, it depends on the nature of the project. For example, you know, uh, in solar right now, you can have a, a commercial building or a farm, a farmhouse, in which a, a solar panel is put on the roof and the revenues are shared between the owner of that property uh, because they take the, uh, the power that's generated and sell it into the utility. Now, those projects, can be, you can be into those for you know, a few million or less. Now you go and build some massive hydroelectric facility, you could be into the 20, 50, 100, 200 million dollar facility depending upon the size. So there is a wide range, a wide gamut between the size of the projects and the financing opportunities available. But generally you would say to Anne-Marie or anybody else out there with some real good business experience, business acumen that uh, this is a, a great area to, uh, to get involved in? It's a big growth area and it's one that's very copacetic for just about all the parties involved. I would say, however, that there is a bit of a lemming instinct surrounding uh, project financing right now that everybody thinks they can get into it. So usually you need to have a team put together. Just like a real estate developer would have a whole range of people from a soil examiner through to people who know how to sell real estate, you still need to put a team together. So it's not for the faint hearted or for the absolute newbie who can't put a team together and surround themselves with the right parties because again, banks are going to look at the project, but they're also going to look at who's involved and what the experience level is. Great. Well, Keith Turner from Meridian Merchant Capital, you're the type of person that could be part of that team. And uh, Anne-Marie, if you're interested in finding out more about how Meridian Merchant Capital could help you with uh, a form of green energy financing, go to our website, which is meridianmerchantcapital.com. And thanks again for watching another edition of Meridian Business Television. I'm Randy Lennon.